This video is filled with tons of Dollar Tree inspiration. Let's get to it. I want to thank June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Headed to Dollar Tree once again on this beautiful bright day and today we are working with some rope. I have worked with these nautical ropes for many years and I love them and today I'm going to show you really cool DIY crafts. We're going to start this shelf is a hanging one that you can find at Dollar Tree year round. And I'm just going to grab my drill and just start drilling the holes. Now they already had holes. We just wanted them to be a little wider. I'm going to sand them down very smooth. And then of course I want to dust it and wipe it really well because we are going to paint it and we're going to give it one coat of Waverly chalk paint in the white, both the front and the back. The board does not need to be sanded after it's painted. However, if you sand it very smooth and lightly, oh boy, it makes a big difference. So smooth. I'm going to wipe it down really well and then we're going to bring in a rope. This is one of their thinner ones. I have found that Dollar Tree often carries a thicker and a thinner one. So this is one of the thinner ones. I'm going to leave the little tape that comes with it because it's going to help to thread it through the hole. I'm going to start by threading it through the top of the shelf and then around the bottom and then back up from the back to the front and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Once I had the rope on both sides, I'm just gonna now try to measure and see how long I want the rope to be. This is gonna be a shelf for the wall, so I'm just gonna lay on my table just as if it would be on the wall. Once I had it where I wanted, I'm just gonna grab and bundle the top and then just take another piece of the same nautical rope and roll it around, hot gluing as much as I can. And then now it's just time to make sure that this shelf lies flat and then I'm just gonna cut off the excess rope. It does not have to be hiding underneath the knot, but I do want it to be as close as possible. And that's it. Oh my goodness, this was definitely one of my favorites. It's such an easy one. You can even make two or three and hang them together. That would be beautiful. So let me tell you a little bit more about this awesome game, June's Journey. I'm sure you've heard of it. And I gotta tell you, it's one of my favorite games. It's actually the only game that I play that is like this. I am the kind of person that I love a murder mystery. I love finding hidden objects and I love decorating. So this is the perfect game for me. I love doing it, whether I just want to unwind and relax for a little bit, or I am just waiting in line to pick up my kids from school or whatever the situation may be. I love just taking a few minutes out of my day and just spending some time earning coins so I can decorate my mansion on this game. It is completely free to download. All you have to do is go to the description box and there is a link there where you can download the game directly from there. And also June's Journey is participating in this year's Green Game Jam, which helps a great cause to support our planet. So check out the link that is in my description box and I promise you, you're gonna love it and have so much fun. On to next DIY craft. I wanna take this vase. It is glass and I got it at Target Dollar Spot. But Dollar Tree does have a lot of glass vases that this can be done to. Such an easy one. We're just going to start hot gluing the rope onto the bottom of the vase. Now you want to hot glue all the way around and work quickly because hot glue and glass kind of makes the hot glue dry real quick. So just make sure you work a little quick. Then we are going to just start doing one more row, hot gluing in every area. After we hot glue the first two that's it. We're just going to keep rolling around, making sure that I am pressing down and really compacting that rope so that there are no gaps in between. Then once I reach the top as high as you want to take it really, then I'm just going to hot glue that last portion, making sure that I am ending and making the cut exactly where I started it. Because summertime is approaching, I am going to use some summer decor. I'm going to use these sticks that look like driftwood. I find these at Dollar Tree during the summer. They're really cool to work with. I'm just going to hot glue a couple of them to the front in a V shape. Make sure that the front is exactly the opposite side of where the cut rope is. Then I'm going to add some seashells that you can find at Dollar Tree as well. 
Of course, you can always customize it to Christmas or fall or any other season or holiday you want. So I'm just going to hot glue them in place. And to finish it off, I'm just going to add some greenery. Keep it simple. I think the jar and the vase is absolutely stunning. Another one of my favorites from today. I love the simplicity of it. And it's just a rustic, beachy look. Perfect for summer. What do you think? For the next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm going to take one of their wood rounds that you can find year round. I'm going to remove the jute string. And then I'm going to give it one coat of Waverly chalk paint and the linen white and of course let it fully dry. Then we're going to bring in my sanding block again. This is just to lightly soften it. It just has such a smooth finish when you do this. Wipe it well, make sure there's no dust. And then we're going to bring in several ropes. I am going to remove the little plastic end to it on this one. Now I'm just going to start hot gluing all around the perimeter of the wood round. I'm going to do three stacks of the brown rope. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I have those links down below in the description box. So when you are done watching, make sure you go check it out. Once I had the rope stacked three times, I'm going to cut off the excess. And then we're going to add some of this white nautical rope, again from Dollar Tree. I'm going to make sure that I am starting exactly where I ended the last rope. And I'm just going to glue two rows. After I made the cut, this rope really does fray easily, so I'm just going to add some hot glue in between all the strands. That way it's just going to hot glue nicely. I'm going to cut two strands so I can make some handles. You can cut these as long as you want, just depending on how long you want the handles to be. I'm going to hot glue them on each side, making sure that the area where we started and finished it, the rope is going to be in the back. And then I did the same thing on the other side. Hey, look how beautiful this looks. Tell me this would not be perfect really for any season, but for summer is absolutely gorgeous. This next set Dollar Tree DIY craft is an easy one. We're going to take one rope. We're going to fold it in half and cut it. Then we're going to fold those in half again, nicely even, and cut it again at the halfway point. Make sure you follow and hopefully you don't get confused. It's actually quite easy. So we're going to have two sets of two. Now we're going to join them together with hot glue. Very simple. These ropes really attach well with hot glue. So I'm just going to add some hot glue in between each rope and attach them together. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Now that I have that one piece, I am going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut it again. Now with this piece, we are going to create one curtain holder and with the other one, we'll create the second one. This is the leftover string that came with the hanging shelf that we used earlier. I'm just going to cut it in half so that we can use for both. I'm also going to cut a small little piece. It's about seven or eight inches long. Now I'm going to loop it and then join only the bottom portion. I'd say about three inches at the bottom and then I'm going to attach the string with a little bit of hot glue way at the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Now I want you to pay attention and if you need to pause, you can. We're going to join these two together, crisscrossing them. So making sure that one loop is facing one way and then the other one the other way. Then we're going to thread each end through each loop and then pull just like that. It's going to create this cute nautical knot style. Now that we have everything attached, we're just going to wrap the ends with the remaining string, just adding a little bit of hot glue here and there. And we're going to make sure that we leave about a half an inch of the rope showing in the ends. And we'll do that on the other end as well. I did exactly the same thing to create a second one so they match and look how cute this looks. I love how easy this was and it adds such character. You can use this in any room. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm going to take this wreath form from Dollar Tree. You see these all the time there. Now I want to cut this in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two knots using jute string. I'm just going to tie them next to each other 
leaving about two inches in between. This wreath form was not quite round enough for a regular wreath, although we could have made it work. But the way I'm going to do it is we're going to split in half and then we're going to add some rope at the end. And we'll show you how to do that. Now that I have both ends tied, I'm just going to cut it right in between. These shears I do have on my Amazon store, which is always linked down below in the description box. If you want to check it out, it is linked there. I'm going to take two pieces of rope. One is just going to hang on the same direction as the wreath form. The other one is going to attach everything together. And I'm going to keep adding and adding hot gluing as needed until the entire portion of the wreath at the end is covered. And I did the same thing on the other end. I'm going to make a very simple bow just using burlap ribbon. And I'm also going to use a puppy scarf. These are those pet scarves that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I thought this design was really cute and I'm going to take some blue yarn. I'm just going to fold it into like a, just a little two inch piece. And then I'm just going to loop it like an awareness ribbon and then scrunch it in the middle, tying it in the center with some yarn. Then we're just going to hot glue everything together towards the bottom, but a little bit more towards the left. I wanted to add some greenery, so I'm just going to take a couple of these little greenery picks. They have a beautiful style, deep green color. I'm going to hot glue one on each side underneath the arrangement. I'm going to fluff everything as needed to make sure it looks nice and pretty. And then to the wreath, I'm just going to tie the rope in a knot. That's it. Look how unique and beautiful this looks. I absolutely love the way this turned out, and you can use any florals and arrangement you want. I would love to know which one is your favorite. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out June's Journey's link in the description box. Thank you, June's Journey, for sponsoring this video. And I have another video here for you to watch. Click on it, have fun, I'll see you later, and have a blessed day. Bye.